Salt Strong Nation, what's up? We are back. Joe Simons, like diamonds, got Captain Hollywood. Woo! Today on Hollywood the Butcher. Today yeah. we got some fresh ladyfish that we've been catching and we're making some chunks here. That's uh, quite the expensive uh, cutting board there. Uh, whole so unicorn. one person said, but they work really good. Yes. <laughs> I don't go anywhere without well, look, a Yeti Luke's cooler. Luke's already got a snapper on, so we're here. A Yeti tackle box, Yeti coffee cup we're actually avoiding this storm we picked um a, a completely random spot what what depth are we at six we're in feet? six feet of water out in the oh. edge of the gulf of mexico we got our chum dinger out chum we got dinger. birds you, if you're listening to the podcast you can hear the birds we're out in the middle of nowhere in five to six feet of water catching lots of snapper and we said you know what let's crank up the camera and show everybody what this looks like and it literally is as simple as putting an anchor out, putting a block of chum block out. Block of chum out. Catching some ladyfish prior helps, which we did a great job of. Yes. And now we got Luke and Papa Simo. No cast needed. No casting needed. We just literally drift it right on back and wait for the bite. We've caught a couple nice trout here. Yep. Ladyfish. Look like a Spanish mackerel dad almost got spooled by a shark. Yeah, so when you fish that fresh chunk bait out here on a chum slick, Ooh, you don't ever nice know what mom. you're gonna catch. Oh, he just came off. Uh -oh. You catch a catfish, a ladyfish, trout, snapper, bluefish, groupers, sharks. Everybody out here will eat fresh chunk of bait. And what so have you found lady is best? Fish, ladyfish is one of the best ones. Uh, pinfish and ballyhoo, those are the three that we use the most. And yes, out here in the Gulf of Mexico, we do have a ballyhoo population, and you can hair hook them or throw the net on them like you would. Oh, here's a ladyfish on a ladyfish, lady fish. one eating its own. Oh boy! Oh, oh ladyfish popped Luke off. Luke catching release. All right, Daddy O had a bite. Oh, oh all nice right. One. So all we're doing here basically is like a a watered down version of a yellowtail technique. We're just free lining some chunked ladyfish on a circle hook and a piece of white leader, 15 pound, okay. and we're just drifting it here behind the boat, behind the chum, and let it do its thing and when you get the bite we're fishing with circle hooks when you get the bite there you go daddy oh remember you don't need to set the hook you just want to wind and come tight big pull to the right Here oh comes that's a nice one winner winner fish for dinner look at that that's here we go nice so we wind snapper. down to them we up and in nice and easy bingo yes. Dude. That's what a that solid. says is dinner is served that right is there a solid snap all right daddy where you hiding it's your birthday get in here and smile you guys i'm gonna right. show you Four and a half feet. Yeah, plus the, yeah, so reality is it's almost six feet deep here by the time you're all together. Okay, he's got teeth. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna hold yeah, him, you yeah. just smile. You just <laughs> smile, I'll hold hey. him. That way he don't bite this you. Is not a, uh, I caught him. This is actually video, so okay. you guys know that. Mark's still trying to figure out what a podcast is. Yeah, so what's what? that mean? <laughs> Look, you see the picture right there, it is, it's a fish. <laughs> Red all light right. on. All right, let's check out the box so Here far. we go. Look at that. Man, there's some big mangoes in there too. Yes, sir, on Sun. ice. Mm-mm-mm, gonna -mm. be eating well tonight. All right. Um, you're allowed five per person, over 10 inches, so we try not to keep anything under 11, okay? Uh, the biggest you'll catch out here, 17 inches is a big one. I mean, 18 is big. If you're over 20, you're lying. What was that one? Uh, that uh, that one. one's probably close to 17, 15, 16, in that range there. Is Daddy good. O, man. All right, so, Daddy O, you got bait. Luke's got bait. Everybody's good. So, yeah, so this is a very common fishery for us in the fall. We fish out here for trout in the spring as well. Uh, we also get out to the Gulf, a little farther in the Gulf, in the winter time for the mackerel. Oh, Luke's on. We do a lot of shark. Who is a big trout right here he got on a lady Oh, that's fish a nice chunk. one, bro. Oh, we got double header oh, here. Oh, double header. On. Come on now. Okay, so watch that chum box. There you go. To Dude, the right. That's a solid trout. Woo! We got fish flying in the boat here, boys. <laughs> this is how we do it. Look at that. Winner, <laughs> winner, fish for dinner. Ooh, baby. All right, you got your trout. Chum, I chum, chum. I got your snapper, chum, dinger. <laughs> throw him back. It's up to you. I mean, he goes right in the box if you want fish for dinner. We got plenty of snapper. Oh, we'll snap. Let, yeah, it's yeah, up we'll to snap you. Let it up, go. man. Yeah, it's, hard to be, it's hard to be snapped. I understand. Yeah. All right, you got to come off my box here. So, Hollywood, we did this before. And we did. We showed some videos to our insiders, and a lot of them were still like, all right, did you really pick a completely random spot in the middle of the ocean? 
Well, and the answer to that is yes, but there are a couple caveats, okay? Right, so. We are out here on the edge of the Gulf of Mexico, not the ocean, all right? And we are out here in an area that has, I don't know, call it 150 square miles of grass bottom. So that is all that we really are worried about is having some grass bottom, good chum, the right tide movement, which out here is a falling tide with 20 knots of wind behind it. So we got a good chum slick. And I mean, even, even Larry's on, or was oh, on. Oh, man, that was So amazing. the answer to your question is yes. We are not on a wreck. We're not on any structure. This is just all grass bottom out here in this part of the national park and the Gulf and you're only in six feet of water and this is so yes i will tell you that there are areas that hold more snapper than others but it's all hit or miss out here yep. but it is no this is not structure related we're but not we this are happened not, the, uh i mean it happened quick with one block it wasn't like we've been sitting here for hours with no absolutely three. this is our first block and That's it's probably saying. almost up because the water temp out here believe it or not is 92.3 degrees which Ooh. is hot and so chum will melt fast like anything does. There's the but chum this dinger. is still our first, yep, on the chum dinger is still our first block. And uh, yeah, no no joke, you can look around and see we got storms all around us, so yeah. we're just kind of catching some dinner. Luke's on. Oh, he's just a there little There you go, guy. let him go. So for everybody who likes to eat mangrove snappers, just there remember the storms. limit is five per person. They have to be at least 10 inches long, and that's overall length with a pinched tail. And we in the business try really hard not to keep them less than 11, 11 and a half inches. And we're very strict on making sure we never exceed the limit. And uh, but they are fantastic to eat. We just need a handful for dinner. Uh, fish tacos, blackened fish, put it on a salad, something exquisite. Oh, it's yeah. not a fishery where you're gonna catch 100 pounds of these and, and send it home like people ask all the time. This is all about catching fresh fish for dinner for four of us tonight. And it's awesome. Oh yeah. All right, Daddy. Hey, what what, what kind of a uh, rod reel setup? Light tackle. All right. Yeah. 20? So when you're out here fishing with me, or just in, any of my guys on the team, we fish Daiwa gear exclusive, and we fish really nice rods from Biscayne Rods, which are made in the USA, right here in Miami. So if you look at Daddy O's, got a real nice Daiwa salt tees, 10 pound Daiwa braid, seven foot standard spinning rod, and you just had a bite there, by the way. So close your bail and wine, see if he's on here. <laughs> There you go, right oh, yeah. behind the Watch boat. The I can't dinger. get you any Watch closer. In dinger. he comes. So here we go. This snapper is too small to keep, but you'll see the circle hook got him right in the corner of the mouth, which comes in handy. Circle hooks are required to use when you're fishing with bait. All right, out here like that. Let him go. Get rid of the one thing about ladyfish. I mean, this is, they get in that skin. It's hard to get off the hook, yeah. which is another great reason. Like you can't get that off. Nice there, little right? chunks. Yeah. Let him go. Real light leader. What size hook? It's a three-aught hook from Owner. I'm a big fan of Owner Mutu light circle hook. All right, little split shot. Ladyfish chunk. All right. So the trick is you want to be in the meat, come out the skin one time, and any time you fish that circle hook, you want to make sure that that barb is exposed, and you don't want to have it set up cattywampus where it can get back in and foul itself. So cattywampus? You want it. Cattywampus, that's a nice word, family friendly, right? Oh, yeah. Or crooked as can be. How's that? <laughs> you don't want that. You want it out there like that so that it doesn't catch back in itself. Because if it does that, you're not going to get the uh, hook, okay? All right, Daddy-O, your birthday. You're catching dinner. Come on, Daddy-O. Let's do this. Come on, Lukey. We created our own You only slick. turned 70 once, so you might as well be fishing with me. Could be worse. Yep. Got our birds. We got the bait. I was up here on top of the tower looking down, and you can see the snapper and those ladyfish just coming in the chum slick, slashing, eating away. Just one of the many, there you go, that bite woke me up. Look at you, daddy Oh, catch that oh, that's one. Nice. Here that it comes. That could be a keeper there, get him in. Get the in. sucker up in. and in. Nice. Guys, if you're watching. Here we go. Or if you're listening, obviously you're watching, you're seeing. This is live, on. this is live right here. But if you're listening, yep, we are tearing it up. Maybe a little bit bigger. Martin didn't like that one. Yeah, no, let so that get one get back and grow. A little bit bigger. So yeah, you being up in the tower, we affectionately call it Hollywood's high chair on my Murata 24. It's uh, the tower has all kinds of advantages on the bay boat. And for one, for filming today, it puts you up there, a much different perspective, better bird's eye view, and it gets you out of the way of the deck when we're down here busy. Got, whoa, Luke, whoa, what the hey, world happened? Hey. Something, something on the what happened? Something, something on the 
See, it happens all the time. I got when that I leave, on film, when too. When I leave him unsupervised, yep. it never goes right. Got me it you never didn't, uh, goes right when I leave you months. Snap lost. Hollywood's Biscayne. Yeah, don't do that. Woo. No FG not, you know. Oh, the FG not. All right, let's make some new chunks. The FG here. not failed? What? Uh, there, there was an FG not. Ah, ooh. Uh, <laughs> yep, funny um, thing. I started maybe. tying it on Sunday last week, and I didn't quite get it done. You did. You broke everything. You broke the. You broke the braid. You broke the double line. All right. So you're All right, in timeout. Dad, we're counting on you. Luke's in timeout. We're gonna put his dad back to work. So there's a nice big chunk out here, right? So you see the size of that. So this can sometimes be too big out here, but on the same time, you might deter the smaller fish yep. and see if that really big mangrove snapper will bite that. All right. And these birds. You guys out. are listening. You can hear them. Amazing. What will come to your boat if you put a chum dinger out with chum? Okay, what do you need? I'll just, I'll just Amazing. Whatever you want to do, you can just. And I will test. One, We've done this with three. Hollywood, I don't know, three times. And it's never planned. Today, we literally were trying to avoid this nasty storm. So we just stopped to see which way it was going to go. Like, let's just put a chum block out and see what happens. Minutes later. It really yeah. was within 15 minutes we already started catching fish. Yeah, it takes time for the chum to start to go and develop your slick, which you can see behind the boat, that glassy area here. And we had to deal with a slide and anchor and some showers, but it didn't take long, a couple bites. And we've had the variety. We've had the shark, we've had the mangrove snapper, we've had the ladyfish, we had Luke, of course, catch the catfish. You never know what you catch out here what? on fresh bait. How many two cats? Oh, two. that's oh, right. He's yeah, got two yeah, cats. So there's room for improvement. He might catch the sail cat next. Remind then... everyone, it was not one. That's right, not but one two cat. cats. Meow, meow, meow. I think they chase him around. I like chicken. I chicken like liver. Sea. Meow, mix, meow, mix. Please deliver. That's, that's right. Let's go, Daddy O. You're that crocodile. Just kidding. <laughs> oh yeah, that was earlier today. Yeah, and if uh, you guys hadn't heard or seen that podcast. That was earlier today. Yeah, so we were snook fishing up in the western part of Everglades National Park, and a real live saltwater crocodile of, of big ooh, proportion ooh. showed up. And, uh, oh. you know, they're a very shy species. They don't like to get around people, but he was not happy with us catching as many snook as we were catching, which mm -hmm. was a lot. And so he came close to the boat and uh, let us know who's boss, and then Luke said we had to go. So probably a good call, because he, uh, he was close to the boat, and he was checking us out. But uh, it was a treat to see a real saltwater crocodile. Big boy. Yeah, actually there was two, right? We yeah, had yeah. two of them there that was yep. fantastic. And then we saw Rick Murphy too, went right on by us. <laughs> <laughs> had to give Rick a hard time. And if you didn't watch to the very end, you might not know why. But let's just say Slam Shady ruled the day. Oh yeah, the Shady we was on. Captain Rick some Slam Shadies to help him out. He's having a tough day over there. Watching hot Captain Hollywood's boat just bring in fish after fish after fish. Slam Shady. Some days you're the bug, Doing some dust. days oh, yeah. you're the windshield. But you know, <laughs> the days that you're winning, you got to bring it up. <laughs> Just to remind you. That's everybody. right. Rick's a good friend of mine. Rub it in a little bit. That's yep. good on the Rickster. Yeah, we love Rick. Probably went around the corner and got some time. It's probably like, I wish those salt strong guys could see this. That's right. That's this guy's right. sitting there laughing at me. What do you got, Dad? A bird? I had a oh, man, you were way out there. Well, Daddy O said, I am. That was a big fish on too. We're teaching him. He's getting the hang of this. I'm going out deep. All right, you're missing your split shot. Bring that up here. That's and why you're I all get down. Yeah, you're all fouled up here. All right, Luke, Luke is back in the game. Re-rig. Man, look at that storm out there. You guys can probably hear the wind howling if I turn a little bit. Yeah, so show them. It's so windy that we got the trolling motor down on anchor lock. <laughs> and we got the big plow anchor out here. And it was sliding earlier when the 20 knots of wind. So between the two, we got ourselves holding pretty good, and uh, that's important. Let me get you a split shot just yet, okay? Oh, Luke's got something nice. What do you got, Luke? He's hung on the bottom. Yeah, grass. You're hung in the grass. Now, something hit him. I mean, it was taking line out. So what happens, too, if that's true, knowing your brother, he is probably hung on the bottom. <laughs> but the snappers here will go under in the grass and they will dig like a grouper would go into a hole a yeah. snapper will go in this grass and he will get himself wedged in there oh, and you now can't it's taken get him off out. again 
Something's on. You got something. Yeah, he might, he might pull him out. It's possible. You catch a lot. I of saw it taking line out again. We catch a lot of small uh, red grouper <laughs> out here. Yes, it's and that's very possible. Oh, he come out of the grass. Yeah, Let's see what he go. got. Here he comes. Oh, it's a snapper. Come on, Luke. Get the net. Get, Get the, the net. net. Get the net. Here he comes. Big snapper. Watch, it's going to be a real Rod small tip one. right to me. <laughs> no, it's not. Woo! <laughs> but look at it. But <laughs> to, the, to the point, look at the look grass at root. Look at the grass root on his face. Oh, my he was, goodness. He was dug down in that grass, and he was trying to get away. But that is a proper, proper mangrove snapper. I switched, I switched to mono, too. Interesting. Mono, All right, Luke, mono. you got to hold that. Hey, come, hold off, that. come off that Luke, gun. Luke, this will be me, the Luke. thumbnail. This is a great pick. I want you to hold him out. And we're gonna end it on that. That is a solid All right, snap. Getting up. out of the way. You yep. good? Yep. All right. All right. Oh, that's oh, a hey! Flying, flying up baits. over here. All right, Luke. That. Oh, that's gonna be an awesome pick right oh. there with the clouds in the background. Cool. That's it, guys. We're gonna close it out and go catch some more big ones. <laughs> that's a solid snapper. Yes, sir. Captain winner, Hollywood. winner. Fish for dinner. Hollywood out. Here we go. If you guys got box, questions? Right let us know down below. Yeah, let me get one more. Uh, frame of that. You Let can see know. 11, 12 inch snapper looks small next to that big one you just caught there. Man. Winner, winner, fish for That's dinner. a beast. All right. Whoa, daddy O's. Daddy O's just trying to hook, his, hook his boys here. here. All right, so we got dinner covered. Yep, so we're uh, we're going to close down. If you have questions on this, on how we're doing, anything else that we missed, because it's possible. There's chaos going on right now. <laughs> Let us know down in the comments if you're listening on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, wherever you might be, go to saltstrong.com forward slash podcast. You'll see this episode. You can leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And of course, if you haven't joined the Insider Club, we're doing stuff like this every single week, all year long. Yeah, join the club. You might get a chance to come fish with oh, me. You never know. Showing exactly where we're fishing. More importantly, how to recreate the spot in your area. We've got 16,000 plus members now. Growing, I think there's someone joining me about every 20, 25 minutes now. Why shouldn't it be you? You know what? It should. Join us here today. We be out. If you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the online fishing club that'll help you catch more inshore saltwater fish than ever before while saving time and money on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon. Your family lives so strong in winter.